My name is Jenny, and this is Weathered Wings, where I'm always trying to inspire you to create something beautiful. Okay, you can do this. So, y'all, I am going to try, let's see, where is that little board? Let, let me show you something. Well, I don't need to show you the board, but I got this board. Let's just go on down to the crafting table. Okay, so this little board, I got it at Hobby Lobby. All right, it was on clearance, $3.99, and it had like a little saying something on it, you know, and I just painted over it, okay? Let's see, what colors did I use? I used Skeleton Key, which is a DIY paint, which I love to use. It's kind of a, it's kind of a greenish gray, and I mixed a little white with it, so all I did was just paint it, spritz it with water, and just paint it a little white, just lightening it up just a little bit. Okay, so what I want to do first, I got something... It's kind of kind of long, but I've, I've planned, y'all. I've planned. So, I'm going to be using, well, I say I've planned. That doesn't mean it's going to work out. I'm going to be using the Iron Orchid transfers called English Twall. Okay? So, here's the, this might be better just to show you. It's got these, uh, all these designs right here. They're, they're, they repeat, though. Okay? So, these, um... This is like a set, and then this is a set. But I lucked out. Oh, I've cut some up because I put some on coasters, which were, were very pretty. You know me; I'm going to cut up all my transfers. But this one happens to happens to be a good size. Okay, set four. I may be cutting off some heads or something, but that's okay. This will work. All right. So all I'm going to do, I'm trying to figure out if I want to do this. Um, and I did not seal this, okay? So it's um, painted, unsealed, but I do recommend you sealing it. It just works better. But if your paint is good and dry, let me turn this fan off. Maybe I had it uh, sitting in front of the fan. All right, so let's see. Let me just see, eyeball it. Now it has lines on it, okay? So it kind of helps you line it up and get it get it straight so i'm gonna go like where it cuts off let me just do that so it cuts off like you can tell how it's kind of ends okay so i'm gonna um just start there i'm gonna line up my end of my little board here i'm not gonna pull the whole backing off because i'm afraid i may although it doesn't stick like they used to it's you know like like real grab real quick and you can't move it it doesn't do that anymore but still i'm gonna i'm gonna just let's see let me see let me see i hope y'all can see this let me back up just a little bit all right so i'm gonna get it right on that line right there and hold it okay i'm gonna hold it like that so it does stick. Now I could have cut it, but I'll just I'll just go with it like this. And this is how I do. Um, like they used to be really. They used to come in these big rolls, and they were really big. And this is how I would do it. I would just kind of gradually add it. So you see, the background is transparent. So it's picking up this uh, grayish color. I hope it does. I hope it comes off. But this is this is probably the um, longest part, and I could cut these. Well, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just bring them all the way around. Okay. So they all come with this little stick, right? I can see that good. Let me come down just a little bit more. All right. You know what? I planned. <laughs> I'm like, they don't want to see any painting, but I totally forgot how long this took. So, if y'all want to start, I can start singing. No, I can't sing. Um, <laughs> I'll hurry. I'll try to hurry.
we go. All right. So I'm just going to lace. Ah, I just love this. I just love it. Okay. Okay, so here we go. That's our board. And, and look, I want you to just look real close to this transfer, okay? I, I cannot feel this. See, it is, it's just flat as it can be. So that's what makes it so awesome. It doesn't have, um, now you gotta be careful because there could be little bitty pieces sticking up. So you're supposed to burnish it with the shiny side. But that kind of scares me sometimes because I feel like I'm just a little heavy handed. I'll just do it like this. All right, let's get busy. So, we are going to put a mold on this, okay? And I've already kind of done, done a, a lot of them. And I just left them in the mold, but I'm going to show you how to make one in case there's somebody left behind. So, this is the Swags mold, and so I've already got one in here, I wanna make sure. So I'm using paper clay, air dry clay, okay? It comes in a little pack like this, all right? And this is, this is probably my favorite thing to use just because, I mean, if I plan, I really like to use um, fast casting resin if it's something that, you know, I'm gonna plan and I need a bunch of or something. Or really, if I want it to be 3D, then I will use that. But this, I just, you know, I love this. All right, so let's pull it out. All right, that's, that's beautiful detail of roses, okay? So I need to make another one of these because I'm going to do an oval in the middle. Like this. All right, so let's make another one real quick. So I'm gonna take, um, well, I don't know where my, did I put it up? Oh well, here's another one. I need to add a little bit of cornstarch. Doesn't take a lot, I always put too much. But this really, this really does help y'all because um, it will, it's just hard to get it out sometimes if you don't use the cornstarch. Or baby powder might work. I think, I think I've heard people using that. Um, no, 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 Cindy, if you use the resin, it goes right, just right in here. These are um, silicone, and so it, it does not mess them up. So, yeah, this is only for the clay, only for the clay. I'll put that right there so I don't mess those up. And this is a big one, so I kinda, I have to get a lot of it. Let's just see. All right. So you just press it in. Okay. Oh, this is a big one. But it's worth it. It's worth it. Again, this is the swags mold. Swags. So I just take the excess off. Oh, I just need some more right there. With my thumb. Okay, I just kind of, that's how I start. Getting it off with my thumb. These big ones are a little, you want the, you want the um, top right here, which is really your bottom when you go to glue it on. You want it to be flat. So it'll lay down really nicely and we'll pucker up and look a little janky. It's not so easy when you have a really long piece, but it is doable. Oh, I just dropped some, that's okay. And you can also, a lot of people will use like a little credit card or something, but let me show you. I don't do that often because it tends to lift lift my um the mold sometimes, you know, the clay out of the mold. And when you put it back down, then the, the image is kind of messed up. So I'm just gonna lightly do this. Just because it's long. And then I'll just rub it like that. Alright. 
Yes, Deborah, I love, now for the fast casting resin, I love, um, and that's for the molds. I just love the amazing resin. For the epoxy resin, I've gotten to where I love the Naked Fusion is what it's called. Naked Fusion. I haven't had it yellow or anything yet, and it usually dries pretty nice and clear and without a lot of bubbles. All right, now, this, uh, this is something else I'm going to do. Let's see. I'm just laying out an image here. Um... Okay, so I did all these the exact same right here. I just left them in the mold, though, so you could see. Let me take it out. Uh-oh. It's trying to buckle. And you know what? I don't even think I'm going to paint it. I think I'm going to leave it just like this um, and, and call it done. I love it this color. Let's see. I think I'll just, oh, I think I'll glue that on first. Now let me pour some of this off. But I just, you know, I can't narrow myself down <laughs> to just one craft. But my membership, it's called Creative Junkies. And um, we do at least two projects a month. I was doing three, but I think it was just a little too much. Um, but we definitely at least do two, and then I may just, uh, you know, come in and do something else. But it's $26 a month. You get a uh, discount 10% off on, you know, any product that you, well, I take that except for DIY. I'm really not allowed to discount that, but I'm going to try to see what I can do about that. But... Um, I do, we do some really good projects, uh, you know, it's not, it's not crafting. It's not crafting. It is, um, I mean, we make things similar to this. We, we, you know, I do start to finish, but it's things that you would want to use in your home. It's home decor. We may do furniture. Okay, let's see. I think that's good right there. I'm going to go around and make sure that I'm pressing down on the sides right here because I want it to lay down nicely. So this is, this is kind of what it's going to look like. All right, like this. So the leaves will be glued on. Let me just kind of stand up like this. All right, let's just take the leaves off. <laughs> I'll get the leaves glued on. You have a great evening and I'll catch you next time. Bye.